good morning beautiful people welcome back to another vlog this is vlogmas day seven last night let's just talk about what happened last night last night i planned to go see the christmas lights and have that filmed and vlog and have the vlog go up at 3 p.m today so something told me to check the website to get the exact address because i have an idea where the place is at but i want to make sure i get the correct address to the entrance versus going on the opposite side of the event place went on the website and like fine print it says note on december 6th through december 8th we are going to be closed for a private event <laughs> When I told you I had my heart set on seeing these Christmas lights, I was like, uh, oh, I'll just go next week and vlog it and just plan it out a little bit better. But yeah, that what happened last night. Today, I'm celebrating one week of vlogmas, completing this. It is a huge accomplishment for me because I'm not a daily vlogger. I'm not planning on becoming a daily vlogger. But this past week, it just taught me to stay consistent and to really plan out my content and to just stay positive and motivated with pushing out content. I know it might not resonate or even be a response everybody is looking for. I understand I'm not everyone's cup of tea, but I've been really enjoying Vlogmas and just editing and pushing out content. No matter how tired I am, I've been pushing through it and I'm just proud of myself for this huge accomplishment for my car me. wash but it's supposed to rain in a few days do y'all like getting your car wash even though y'all know it's going to rain in a few days do y'all like doing that do y'all do that I don't know personally I feel like that's just a waste of money and time okay. I'm about to change my plans up just a little bit today I'm on my way to Sephora to pick up a tinted moisturizer. I don't really like wearing foundation. I really don't even like wearing a lot of makeup on a day-to-day -day basis. But sometimes, if I want to look a little put together, I will throw on some makeup. And I don't want a full coverage heavy makeup. Like I'm just not into that anymore. I want to get a tinted moisturizer that's close to my skin tone just to cover up some of the blemishes. Like right now, I don't have on any foundation. I just filled in my eyebrows. I went to Forever 21 and this has been like the last four or five times that I've gone to Forever 21 and I could not find anything. I mentioned this on my Twitter a few weeks ago saying that I just cannot resonate with their clothes anymore. Like I used to be able to go in there and find anything and spend a couple hundred dollars like easily. But now I just cannot get with their clothes. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube about sustainability and fast fashion and just these quick trends that keep happening and going away and just the quality of Forever 21 clothes just look very cheap and small and just look like teeny boppers and I just can't get with it. So I did go to another store called Edge and that store is like, if you wanna go to the club, that is where you go. And I saw some cute stuff, but I'm not planning on going to nobody's club no time soon. So that was more if I wanna take a trip, if I wanna go to the club, if I wanna be at my bad B, ish then that's the store i would go to but not for like an everyday thing like that's just not my style but i did go to sephora as well and picked up a few things in sephora put up the target because every week i have to be in here to get something and i don't know 
why but i just come to target like almost every week just to pick something up but yeah, i'm about to head in there and then go to the grocery store and come back home make some lunch and just relax and edit this vlog and put this vlog y'all they have this police monitor thing at the target and i'm just trying to figure out if people been stealing over here or they just trying to have more security for the holiday season